so with this approach you just need three chords that will be your major chord on the key you are playing in that's the first chord so we are playing in the key of c so our major chord then our seventh chord we do an alteration with the seventh chord so this is our seven it's a diminished chord so we just form a diminished chord on the seventh note which is b so b right here i form a diminished chord on it The diminished chord if you don't know how to form diminished chord make sure you watch our video on chord theory then you get to know why i'm saying two plus two it's quite a simple formula so what you do with this form is you just have to flat your first so our first note is b here then i make a flat i'm gonna get b flat right then how do i know the third chord now the third chord you just have to stand on your first chord which is c right then you sharp your fifth our fifth is here, so i sharp it i'm gonna get a flat right then i flat my third and i'm gonna get e flat so these are the chords i have my major chord right i have the b diminished then i have this chord right here but it follows in this sequence that when you're about to end we need our A flat chord, which we formed right here. This chord is formed by just sharpening the fifth and flattening the third. When you stand on the major chord of the key you are playing, it works for every key, right? Then our next chord, which is B flat, that we formed on the diminished chord, we just do an inversion. So this is B flat. I just do an inversion. I duplicate this B flat here, then I play it an octave high, right? Then I add the chord. That I'm going to resolve or end the song here. So you're gonna sound the A flat, the B flat, then back to the C. We can try this on a different key too. So let's try this on E flat. So for E flat right here, this is what I have. My first chord. I flat the third. I sharp the fifth. I know the second chord to play. That's B major right here. Then what is the third chord? The third chord, I just move to the seventh note on the scale of E flat, then form a diminished chord on it, then I flat the first note. So that's my seventh note. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is our seventh. It's the same thing right here. Then I flat the first. Right, I have this chord. So I know the first chord to use, which is B flat. Then the next one, which is D flat major back to the key i'm playing in the major chord of the key i'm playing in so with e flat you're gonna sound like all right let's dive right into the second approach it's quite simple very very simple and it's kind of a grand style ending so that's what you do you just need the major chord of the key you are playing in. So that's the first chord of the key you are playing in. So assuming I'm playing in key C, all I do is I just place my left hand in the C position of C1, that's my low C. Then I place my right hand on the next octave that's C here, then I do the same thing. I repeat it one, three, five. Right, then I pass my left hand over to the next C. I repeat it one, three, five. I pass my right hand under, then I repeat it one, three, five. I pass this over, repeat it. So it's gonna be like I hit C with this, right? So it's very simple. So let's assume we end then um, chord C five. Try this on any other key too. Let's say F. Okay. 